Renovations on Champaign's busiest streets are causing delays across campus. Students at the University of Illinois started spring semester off with a little more snow than they left with. Illini students, athletes danced their way to a good cause at the annual Just Jams event. The UI7 news break starts now. From the Richmond Journalism Teaching Studio at the University of Illinois campus, this is your UI7 news break, your U of I news source. Hello, my name is Yelia Jai. And I'm Ari Monaco. University of Illinois students may start to notice Green Street is getting a bit of a facelift this winter. Students may need to find a new route to class this semester. Many students and faculty walk across Champaign's Green Street every day. With two high rises set to open in 2015, construction sites are developing throughout Champaign's busiest streets. The intersection at 6th and Green will feature a new hotel above a parking structure. While a luxury high rise apartment is currently under construction on 4th and Green. Construction began in early October. Pedestrians should expect various sidewalk and road closings in the coming months. Classes resume this week at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign campus. Students and staff are doing their best to brave the bitter cold. Students at the University of Illinois received a very cold welcome this week as classes began for the spring semester. A storm Sunday night left icy sidewalks and frigid temperatures across central Illinois. To avoid the ice, students and staff rely on the Champaign-Urbana transit system to help alleviate some of the cold. The students return to campus January 20th after a month-long vacation. The University of Illinois library system is now home to a unique collection of Indian comic books. The collection is the largest of any library in North America. South Asian Studies librarian Mara Thacker has been collecting comic books from across India since 2012. She said the collection started after attending a workshop hosted by the Committee on South Asian Libraries. She chose Indian comics because of her own interest in Indian pop culture. Thacker says comic books are a great way for students to expose themselves to the languages and cultures of India. The 1,000-piece collection has comics from a variety of publishers, including India's most famous comic publisher. The comics reflect on Indian folk art or Hindu mythology. Thacker says she hopes to have comic books from each Indian comic book publisher, as well as from other South Asian countries in the near future. A daily 20-minute walk may actually save your life. A new study published by American Journal of Clinical Exercise says physical inactivity kills twice as many people as obesity. Researchers at the University of Cambridge analyzed data from nearly 3,000 men and women across a 12-year period. They found that moderately inactive people are far less likely to suffer from the risk of premature death than those that are completely inactive. The authors estimate that exercising for even 20 minutes a day reduces a person's risk of premature death by 16 to 30 percent. While the data says 20 minutes of activity is enough, researchers say people should strive for more to further reduce the risk of chronic disease. After learning that he was death as a child, a Wisconsin high school senior is lying out of his destiny playing college football. Senior Tony Libet says he didn't find out he was deaf until he was three years old, but despite only having to, to, per, to percent of his hearing, Libet defies his odds and signed with Gallup University in Washington, D.C. to play football. The Liberal Arts College teaches the deaf and students who are hard of hearing. Libet says he plans to study education to help students like himself realize their full potential. University of Illinois student athletes brought the house down at their annual talent show at Follinger Auditorium this week. The Illini fans and students flocked to Follinger Auditorium to see their favorite Illini athletes perform at the annual Jock Jams event. The event featured various entertaining skits and dance numbers from every Illini varsity team. All proceeds from the event went to various charities the student athletes are involved with. is a nonprofit organization that provides a free week-long summer camp to kids who have or have had a parent with cancer. And the second one is uplifting athletes and they um, give more publicity and fundraising to um, not as well-known diseases. The night was a success with a sold-out crowd. 
Guest judges like athletic director Mike Thomas, quarterback Riley O'Toole, and ESPN CEU's Jeremy Warner ultimately decided on the varsity Illini football team as champions of the event. That's it for UI7 Newsbreak. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening.